Hello, I will talk about the low deflection shafts and these shafts are a new invention. Uh, the old players, they didn't use low deflection shafts and I noticed that uh, there is something in common with the old players. It is that they are using shorter bridges. So they used this uh, short bridge like this, very short bridge, and they, they played very good with them and they had a very good speed control. And the new, new generation of players with the low deflection shafts, they use very long bridges. And it is because of the pivot point of the queue. So uh, the, the pivot point means that the, the shaft has a point where it flexes. So with low deflection shafts, the mass is uh, lower in the front, which causes the shaft to deflect. It becomes more whippy there. But with the, without uh, with standard shafts, it doesn't have any any whippy part. It is just natural. So uh, when the cue is natural, the it it only flexes in the front here, and this makes the cue ball go to the side. So, if you have a long bridge, the, it will deflect more. But if you have a short bridge, then, uh, then you will notice a lower deflection with a shorter bridge. It is because uh, of errors in the stroke. So, if you aim, if you use side spin, so you use side spin. If you use too little or too too much side spin, uh, it will go. The cue ball will go in the same direction, so that is a trick you can use. If you find the the pivot point, the the perfect point of the shaft where you will hold the bridge, so if you find that point, then the cue ball will go to the same in the same direction with uh, more spin or with less spin and that is how you avoid deflection so with a, a low deflection shaft the pivot point is further back here because they have made the front hollow for less mass so it will flex further back so that is why you need to use uh, the bridge hand needs to be on the pivot point for the best result. So when you shoot with, with more spin or with less spin, the cue ball will go in the same direction. And with, uh, with a short bridge you get the same result. So that is what you must do. You find the pivot point. It is somewhere here with the, the house queue, somewhere here with the, the predator queue. You need to check the manufacturer where the pivot point is. So you, you, you just hold the bridge in the pivot point. That is the best location I have found. So when you shoot the cue ball, it doesn't matter how much side spin you use because it, the cue ball will go in the same direction and that is a good uh, trick you can do in your game otherwise you need to compensate uh, by adjusting the aim for different spin and that is very difficult to do so you, it is best to just use the pivot point instead yeah so you you should uh, you should uh, use uh, a short bridge with uh, 
a standard uh, shaft and a long bridge with a low deflection shaft. And I will talk about the old players again. They used short bridges because it gave the best result because the pivot point was closer to the tip. Old players like Buddy Hall, Mike Siegel, if we look at the old videos you will notice that Mike Siegel had a very short bridge and uh, he was a world champion many times and now you know why because of the short bridge. And uh, in, uh, in the 80s he was uh, he won many world world championships, and Buddy Hall also won. I think Buddy Hall came later, after Mike Siegel. But I, I don't know. You need to check that. They were playing. I saw uh, they were playing in a video against each other, and Bud Buddy Hall uh, uh, has become uh, overweight. So. Yeah, so that is a reason why, maybe why he became worse. So you need to eat healthy. Being fat is uh, something positive in pool, in a way, but also something bad. The posi positive thing is that the, your, your stance becomes more stable because it has more weight. So, guess what? That is why Earl uses weights in his body because the stance becomes st more stable. I have used them myself in my legs when I play tournaments. I wrapped the weights around my legs in the tournament and I played very good with the weights. So the old players, Buddy Hall, Mike Siegel, they used short bridges and the tables were much slower so they had to shoot harder. But nowadays, the tables are faster, much faster, so you can use even shorter bridges now because you don't, you don't need the, the entire length to shoot with. The problem the players do, do today is that they use too long bridges because it matches well with their low deflection shafts. So they when they stroke, they only use a little a short, a short stroke, mm -hmm. and there's a, a big piece here that is left in their stroke, and this piece gives errors in the stroke. Mm -hmm. If you use a short bridge, you can minimize the errors that are happening in your stroke. Less things can go wrong. You can try it yourself by using a very long bridge, and you, and you can see you get a lot of errors in your stroke. So that is why I use a very short bridge and it matches uh, perfectly with the house cue. The house cue has a lot of deflection but with the pivot point the, the, the deflection doesn't do anything because the cue ball goes in the same direction with a different spin. So that's the end of my video. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.